Good morning students. Till now you have studied about the conventional sources of energy. Today you are going to study about non-conventional source of energy. So what are the non-conventional source of energy? It is the source of energy which are not used extensively and meet our energy requirement only on limited uh, purpose. Okay. It is we are not using extensively these types of energies but it meets our uh, requirement. Okay. It, such types of uh, it is uh, such type of source of energies are called as non conventional source of energies or alternative source of energy alternatively also we can use it okay for some uh, non conventional source of energies are solar energy ocean energy geothermal energy nuclear energy these are some source of energy so we are going to study in short uh, these types of energies first we will go with the solar energy as you know uh, the sun is the ultimate source of energy okay and now what we are going to do we are going to convert this source of energy into electricity we can use this uh, in different uh, methods sometimes we can use it directly sometimes we convert it into as you know sun sunlight gives us light energy plus heat energy Okay, so here we are using it directly also, sometimes we use it indirectly also, means its utilization you are going to study. So utilization of solar energy, now so in some appliances, uh, if the solar energy is used, what happens, uh, the appliance sometimes it needs a moderate temperature, but in some appliances it needs a high temperature, okay, so the utilization is based on the such two cases that appliances need moderate temperature temperature some appliances need high temperature okay and also it can be uh, of two types that is direct utilization and indirect utilization these two types okay in direct utilization means what direct we are using the sunlight we are converting it uh, into the electricity or we can uh, use in some appliances such as uh, solar cookers okay so that is the direct utilization indirect utilization means what indirect utilization means this energy is taken by the plants okay or biomass and after that the biomass we, we are using in the biogas plant that is indirectly means indirectly the biomass has taken the solar energy and that energy we are using to convert uh, it okay that is uh, we are using in the biogas plant means that is indirect source of or indirect utilization of solar energy now uh, we are going to study few uh, devices solar heating devices now you have seen solar panels okay uh, above your house or on the terrace solar panels these solar panels are used to heat the water okay it is connected to the water to heat the waters then uh, solar cookers are there uh, then solar big big furnaces are there solar cells are there like that many uh, solar devices heating devices are there so first we are going to study about the solar cookers now if you will see the solar cookers uh, it is uh, used uh, uh, the solar energy is used in the solar cookers okay a solar cooker is a device which utilizes solar energy for cooking food materials it consists of uh, see the diagram you can see it consists of a insulated wooden box painted with black from inner side the lid of the box is provided with the plane mirror reflector you can see the reflector and the glass sheet the food to be cooked is placed in the metal container painting with black from outer side and kept in the box the container is covered with the glass sheet okay you can see that the box is then kept in direct sunlight and its reflector is adjusted in such a way that the strong beam of sun light falls over it when this beam of light falls over it what happens you can see that the cooker is working so how the working of cooker now this solar cooker is kept in direct sunlight now wherever the sun will go you have to adjust the position of the plate means that reflector reflects both visible and infrared lights of the sunlight on the top of the box in form of strong beam of light you have to adjust it such that the sunlight falls the strong beams of light should fall on the reflector 
so the black surface of the box and vessels absorb it when the inner black surface becomes quite hot it also start radiating heat energy in the form of infrared rays but the upper gas glass sheet does not allow these rays to pass through it and go outside the box as the result you can see that these infrared rays get absorbed in the box which increase its internal therm temperature up to about 1000 celsius this high temperature cooks the food material kept in the metallic container inside the box okay so this is how the food is cooked in the uh, solar cooker now but uh, this is as it is benefit you can use solar cooker to cook the food but what food you can cook you can cook rice or uh, uh, legumes okay but there are some limitations for this okay as it is a good benefit it has uh, similarly it has limitations also as it is working on sun it can be only used during the daytime you cannot cook food during night then second limitation is that you can use it only uh, during a sunny day you cannot use during the cloudy day okay that is the limitation then you can see you have to adjust the direction of reflector according to the position of the sun okay that is also a limitation then also you cannot prepare chapatis you cannot prepare or you cannot fry anything okay only what you can do you can just cook it you cook the food okay so these are the limitations of solar cookers then if you will go for the solar devices uh, in that solar devices you can see using the, there are many solar devices used in the toys uh, buildings lightnings okay televisions many appliances solar cells are used okay so uh, these are the some uses of uh, solar energy so this is the these are the some uh, uses of solar energy thank you